Hello. Oh, I'm Hamish. Oh, let's get started. So, face and foremost, <clears throat> you're new to the channel, make sure you come right here, subscribe, and share this video to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of things for all the people who donated, I want to say thank you so much. You know, without you, there's nothing. You know, it's a lot of things going on in the background. So, thanks a lot for your time. And I appreciate it, man, for your attention. You know, let's get started. <clears throat> so, let's say now it's uh, sauce cookies, okay, at the bus stop. Oh, so I mean, this for the most time, you know, we, we, you know, for the most kids, we do this in Africa, you know, at the marketplace, you know what I mean? I did this many times when I was young, you know, selling some stuff. When I was, uh, I think, first grade, second grade, you know, selling stuff at the corner streets. I mean, that's the type of life I grew up, you know, so I'm used to that, man. I miss that, I miss it, okay, I miss that. So Nancy sell cookies at the bus stop every day of the week before she goes to work. Oh, before she goes, so she work and then she also sells some cook, some cookies. Her monthly profit in range. So like I said, this can be money, can be dollar, can be pounds, can be Tanzania shillings, can be Nigerian naira or whatever man. Selling X cookies. Oh, so X cookies. So this represent cookie. You know what I'm saying? This represent what cookie and then. Profit, so this is a profit function. See, this is a profit profit function means so let's write a profit function. A profit means if I sell one cookie and then I'm gonna say 50 and then here I'm gonna say square root of one. I'm just saying, and then minus so here's x 0.5 x minus 75. So it depends how many cookies or how much item I'm gonna sell. If she sell, if she sell one, we're gonna put here one and here I'm gonna put one. Let's say she sell 10 cookies, so let's see. Profit means 10 cookie, 50, and then we say square root of, let's say 25, let's say 25 cookies. 25, so this will be 25 here, and then minus 0 0.5 times 25, and then minus 75. So you put this in the calculator, so this is going to give the profit of 25 cookies. Put that in the calculator, and then you're going to get the answer for 25 cookies. But for this case, they didn't ask them. They asked for something else. Let's see what they ask us now. Oh man, okay. I don't know where's my uh my okay, I see. I'm just looking for I want to wipe my butt. My white butt, but I, I didn't see that. Okay, cool. Let's go, never mind. So now they say here they want you to get number of cookies. What's number of cookies represent? Number of cookies represent by X. Selling X cookies. So we wanna get the X. But, uh, and then, but uh, look, this is very, very important. Whenever they talk about maximize, either can be maximize, minimize, or uh, to get profit, or pr to profitize, to maximize, or you know what I'm saying? Whatever you're talking maximize, greatest, biggest, or minimize, lowest, smallest. Then what you do, you find the first derivative, you have to derive this, and then you equate it to zero. Remember, if you want to get the items, and then the mission name either maximize, we know for profit, we must maximize. But if it was cost, it was going to minimize. So when they say maximize, greatest, highest, greatest, maximum, biggest, or Minimize, smallest, what you do, you find the delivery and then equate equal to zero. Equate equal to zero. So now let's go. So we're going to do the same thing, same game, and that's going to give us the height. Okay. So now I'm going to take my, uh, my profit. So now for me to derivate, I'm not, okay, I don't want when it's like that. I'm going to write it as an exponential. So I'll say x. We know this is like x a half. When you say square root of x and x a half is the same thing. If you say square root of x, q, and if you say x, 1 over 3, the same thing. But for this case, it's just 1 over 2 minus 0 0.5 and this x. So, so since there's no exponential there, so we know it must be 1. When there's no exponential, means exponential, 1. I'm going to put 1 and then minus 75. Okay, so what is next step? Now we can derive it. Uh -huh. Yes, you can get it. So I'm going to say now. So now, face derivative means profit derivative equal, or you put prime there, like. And then, you see this number here? Multiply by anything at the back. 
take it to the back. So when you take it to the back, we have a 50 there. So you multiply by this number. So multiply by half. 50 times by half, you get 25. And then write your x. And you see this number here, minus 1. Take everything, minus 1. Half minus 1, we get negative a half. Half minus 1, we get negative a half. So it's going to give us a negative a half. Minus, we do the same thing. Take this number, multiply by 0 0.5. 1 times 0 0.5, we get 0 0.5. Write your x. Take this number, minus 1. So 1 minus 1, we get 0 minus. This does not have any x. So if it does not have any x, it becomes 0. Easy. Okay, so 75, when you derivate, it's going to become 0. You know, so now we go. So because it does not have an x. So let's go. Let's finish up. So now this going to be phase uh, derivative. Now, now we're going to reciprocate this. This going to be 25. You see all this number? It's going to go to the bottom of 25. Take it to the bottom here. So it's gonna you take exactly to the bottom. The only thing you change is sign because you rest okay. So it's gonna be positive a half and then minus okay any number power zero equal to one. So it's gonna be zero point five times one means all this equal to one. Zero point five, point five times one equal to zero point five minus zero. We don't have to write because minus zero. So then I'm gonna say roughly equal equal to x a half. But what is x a half? x a half means like say 25 only for one I can say this and I say square root of x because you know x a half equal to square only for one but it's not mass and I can say 0 0.5 so either this or this is our face derivative but how do you say for us to maximize we must equate to maximize minimize business or profitize or you know what I'm saying so this will be equal to zero oh so this equal to zero is gonna help us get the item. So we're gonna say zero equal zero equal two. And here we're gonna have a 25. And then over square root of x. And then minus 0 0.5. So we're gonna get about x. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take all of this to the left. You know, so this is gonna go to the left, so it's gonna be zero. But when you jump equal sign, it's doing a jump equal sign. If it's minus, it's gonna become positive. So it's going to become 0 0.5 and then equal to 25 over square root of x. Okay, and the next step, go for here. What I'm going to do, I'll just cross multiplication, all right? Over 1, and then I'm going to cross multiplication. So 0 0.5 times x is going to become uh, 0 0.5 square root of x equal 1 times 25. Don't forget your equal here. 1 times 25 equal to 25. Oh, okay. And now... Let's just finish now. So uh, let me write here because my, my, my concern this space might not be enough here. So I'm gonna say, okay, we have 0 0.5 square root of x equal 0 0.5 square root of x equal to equal to 25, equal 25. 0 0.5 square root of x equal to 25. You know what I'm saying? So now then I'm gonna say, okay, let's go now. So I need this x, so what I'm going to do is just divide by 0 0.5 and also here I'm going to divide by 0 0.5 This and this go, so I have the square root of x equal 25 divided by 0 0.5 25 divided by 0 0.5 So writing 25 by 0 0.5 and this is going to give us 50 So this is going to give us all 50 So this is going to give us 50, okay So since that one gives us 50, <laughs> this is easy man Look, so you have a square root of x equal to 50. I'm going to get x. Easy, man. What you're going to do, you square, and then what you do, you square. So this and this going to cancel. We're left with x equal to 50 square equal to 2,500. So if you square this, going to give you 2,200. And this is our final answer. So this is going to be our option you know what i'm saying so thanks a lot man if you know your face time here please share to a lot of people and it's easy man easy it's just a waste of time when you do this question 
And it's easy like that, man. Thanks a lot. Of you know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, make sure you subscribe. And, you know, you can just go and do donation to our Patreon page. I have a Patreon. I have a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know, any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change. And thanks a lot for all your time. You know, subscribe. Don't forget, share this video, circulate to a lot of people. You know, because the meaning of this project, this program, is to help as many as we can. Okay? It's not only for one patient or two. Because you might think it's not helpful for you. But for somebody next out there, it could be very, very helpful. So thanks a lot, man. And you know, any donation that you did to me, it means so much. I appreciate man. It means a lot. Go to our Patreon page. Go to our uh, GoFundMe because we need to have a, you know, a lot of things we need to put them together like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on, you know, a lot of angle, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate and I love you. Peace and love. Bye. You know, this is one of my children of knowledge, you know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Kamri. Yeah. I'm from Saint Primary School. Ah, uh, yeah. Toronto Bantu. Toronto Bantu. Toronto Bantu is everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other student. His name. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew. Yeah, he's great level man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise I want you to score distinction this time. And you know what's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> Distinction. Yeah, so I'm trying to buy just everywhere, man. I'm trying to buy you everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to buy you everywhere. Everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to buy you exactly. everywhere. Exactly. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Helped a lot. Uh, first, and I redid first year for maths with my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Amy said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like just want to get done, but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. <laughs> 